Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick update video on where we stand with the pledged delegate count for this 2020 Democratic presidential primary because we had a caucus on the 14th of March out there in the Northern Mariana Islands. And in the result, Bernie Sanders, another caucus victory for him, picking up 62.7% of the vote. So at the end of this, in the Northern Mariana Islands, Bernie Sanders gets four pledged delegates while Joe Biden picks up two. Not a ton of people participating in this caucus, as you have Bernie Sanders getting first place with 84 votes, while Joe Biden was in second place with 48 votes. So with these pledged delegates divvied up, moving over to the pledged delegate tracker so we can see exactly where we stand at this point in time. So we're going to give two to Joe Biden and four over to Bernie Sanders. So that gets us into a situation where Biden is at 890 pledged delegates. That's 50% of the pledged delegates that have been divvied up thus far, where you have Bernie Sanders in second place at 736. He has 41% of the current allocated pledged delegates. And then in terms of percentage of the way getting to the 1,991 pledged delegates needed to win on the first ballot at the convention, Joe Biden is 44.7% of the way there, whereas Bernie Sanders is 36 Point nine seven, And we have some contests upcoming this week that have quite a few pledged delegates up for grabs in states like Arizona, Florida, Illinois, as well as Ohio. Based on where the polls currently stand, it would appear that Joe Biden is going to continue to build off of the success that he's had ever since Super Tuesday and then going into a week after that this past week where Joe Biden was able to do really well in areas like Michigan, Missouri, Mississippi, also very competitive in Washington. That was a good sign from the former vice president and now heading towards states where one would figure that Joe Biden might even be in a situation to have more strength than the contests that were held this past week. And it's just really tough for Bernie Sanders at this point when you're going against an individual who kind of has the aura of being the presumptive nominee. That just makes it that much tougher of a hill to climb. We'll see what happens in the upcoming debate. And then as people go and vote this coming week, we'll see I feel like if Joe Biden goes on and has another very convincing victory in those upcoming states, then it's probably going to be a situation where Bernie Sanders might consider dropping out of the race, but we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. To be fair, if things were reversed and Bernie Sanders was ahead with 890 pledged delegates with Joe Biden at 736, I feel like we'd be more so in a situation where they would say, let the process play itself out. We'll see what happens. We'll go to the convention. And then if nobody has the plurality, we'll let the super delegates decide. It feels like there's less emphasis being put on that type of scenario with Bernie Sanders currently in second place. But I wanted to do just a quick update here going over those results that we had in the Northern Mariana Islands Caucus. And this is where we stand at this point in the process. So I appreciate you guys stopping by for this video. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and hope to see you back here for future videos.